Howdy! So here's another Battlefield gameplay, just as promised. I played this last night, I had a lot of great matches. The problem is, uh, I cannot really upload most of the matches, or full matches, because they're just way too long. So, I chose this match because the first half of this match was pretty slow paced. Um, my team was amazing. They just uh, were dominating the other team like crazy and I was basically just my job was to defend the C flag at all you know at all times because uh, the other team I have to say is, is very 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 strong too. Usually in a situation like this, I'm usually in the other team, meaning that I'm usually in the team that gets spawn trapped like crazy and there is absolutely no way out. So this team, our enemy team was so amazing they always pushed through and pushed through and they pushed through strong so I knew that and f to avoid that they um, push through the um, A flags and B flags like here as you can see here I had to uh, stay at C while my team was basically going uh, to capture D over and over and over so they were doing an amazing job I have to say so, YouTube just recently, like, I, I can't say recently, I would say maybe uh, six months ago or so, granted me 15 minutes of uh, video length instead of 10 minutes, which uh, helps a lot, but it's still not enough for Battlefield matches, because um, most, well, not most, but a lot of Battlefield matches take longer than 10 minutes. Um, I, pl I actually prefer playing longer matches. I when matches when teamings are very balanced and the match is very intense i i love when the matches i just don't want the matches to stop ever it, it, it's really for me it's like oh god is it really over it's so much fun it's in battleful it takes a lot of time to find a good um team because a lot of times it's like one team is extremely strong and the other team really sucks and so if you're in a strong team yeah that's fun you win the match but it can become really boring because uh, you basically sit and spawn trap them. You sit and wait for an enemy to pop up. You shoot them and there's nothing else really going on. If you're in a losing team and your whole team is, is bad, then you basically just sit in your spawn and you try to just have, you know, peek out and you get shot. So um, either, either way, it's no fun on either side. So I always... Uh, try to find this this perfect match with the perfect balance of a balanced team and this was one of those uh, matches where the teams were really well balanced even though we dominated them uh, both teams were extremely strong and the enemy team definitely kept us on our toes I always try to create a spawn spot for our team meaning that instead of just us all running in the enemy hands and all of us getting killed and then being pushed back into our spawn um, it's it's very wise to actually try to stay alive when you realize that most of your team members get killed um, it, it one of us has to stay alive so if that one person happens to be in the middle of a map somewhere at a real, real hot spot um, but it's the only one left from from the team there's no chance for that person to defend himself or herself against the whole enemy team uh, it, it's pretty likely that it, it, you know that person doesn't survive more than a few seconds so it's smarter for that person to quickly find some cover or stay if they're already in cover and wait until the enemy team spawn on him or her and then uh, this person has a better chance with the uh, support of the team to defend themselves and uh, continue pushing forward. This has always come naturally to me because I think even in real life I'm more of a defensive person so when I play games I always take over uh, the defensive role even in, if I play sports or so I like to, to take over the defense and you know after all not everybody can be the same way. I mean, if if everyone in the team plays the same way, then it's the, the, the whole thing is very imbalanced. And I don't think you will have any success. 
you need people that defend and people that are aggressive and push forward. So the people that stay in the back and are more on the defense, they are then able to help to revive the aggressors or create spawn span spots for the aggressors who actually died running to the front of the uh, enemy line. That's why it's actually hard to be a lone wolf in this game. If you do not uh, play with friends, if you do not uh, communicate with them, it's very, very hard to build a good team and be successful. But I, I have to admit that a lot of times I am a lone wolf in this game, meaning that I don't play with people from my friends list, but uh, simply just pick up a game uh, randomly and spontaneously. I do really love to play with, with, with friends, but the thing is, I just like to be spontaneous and not have a schedule because, you know, when you work, you're always on a schedule, you're always on a timeline. It's always like you have to be there at a certain time, blah, 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 blah. So in your free time, it's kind of nice to just do whatever, whatever, and, and that's kind of my motto. I just love to say, hey, this is the map I want to play now, and I don't have to worry about you know fr you know friends saying no, I don't like this map, or this 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 fight is too boring, or it's too slow, or I don't like it, or you know the enemy team is cheating or hacking, or they go on my nerves, blah blah blah. So when you're alone, you can pick the map that you personally like, and and it's and, and just enjoy it. And and if you don't enjoy it, you can just basically what I have to say though. In Battlefield 3, I have maybe only in those 400 hours of play, maybe uh, backed out of a match maybe twice. Because I just, it's, you don't really, I mean, I'm sure there is some people that have mods in this. I mean, everybody knows people use game controller mods and stuff like this. But that's just, that's just their thing if that's what they need uh, in order to be good. But I don't, I don't, I haven't noticed any like hacks, like the type of hacks that you find in Call of Duty that are just like, hmm, that was strange and suspicious and where you just get so frustrated that you just want to like throw your controller through the window and, and I'm, I'm sure that happened to uh, <laughs> probably like 80% of all Call of Duty gamers and some other probably Halo too. And in this game, it's just more. This game is 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 even though um, you know it's it's not what people say. This is not a slow slow paced game, but it's more a game that you just love to play. Like sit on your couch, lay back, and just take it all in. It's like this 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 something that's kind of just relaxing, like watching a good movie. It's not this like hectic 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 hectic. And it's so funny that people constantly are saying. Oh my god, I, it's not it's not fast paced enough, it's not fast paced enough. I find it like, oh my god, what a stress. I mean, if you play games for hours and all you do is just run and run and run and turn around and turn around and do the same thing over and over and over and, and it's like it's like it's it's just it's not something that's like for me that's relaxing. I can literally after like an aggressive game like this, I can't even fall asleep afterwards. I'm like my heart is just pumping and I'm like I feel like I just uh, went running for two hours or something like this. If I play Battlefield, I feel very relaxed. I don't feel aggressive. I don't feel stressed out. I feel this is just something like, like you know, being a sniper on top of a roof, just laying there, taking people out one by one and no, no stress. So this is, this is why I think a lot of people enjoy Battlefield because it's just, such a, a great uh, way to kind of de-stress after work. And I think that's why a lot of adults prefer this game. I think we adults, most of us, are kind of past uh, going to the arcade and hanging out with friends and needing all this uh, adrenaline uh, stuff and, uh, you know, Red Bull and all that stuff. It's like we're, we're past it. We, we've done there, been there, done that. We don't need that anymore. It's like time to you know, not take life so serious and, and just hang back and, and, and play with, with good people. People that don't want to brag, people that don't need to show off, people that know that they're good at what they're good at and, and people that just want to enjoy helping others. And 
I think the best, the most satisfaction in this game is like just being able to really help others. I mean, you supply them with ammo, you revive them when they um, get shot, like I just got revived. And um, I, meaning that I have one less kill, meaning that I don't have to spawn uh, somewhere else uh, where I don't want to spawn. I'm right back there with them. And actually, they helping me means it helps them. Meaning that if they revive their uh, team members, they can be staying multiple. They can be still three, four team members and they're strong like that. If everyone gets shot around you, you're a medic and you don't care about reviving anyone, you most likely end up being shot and then the whole team is gone and they all start from scratch again. That's what makes up a bad team. And I would suggest if you end up in one of those and the match ends, get the hell out of there and find yourself a better match. And that's what you can do thanks to Battlefield Server Browser. So we're coming to an end here now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this match, even though I had to cut it down. And I hope to see you in other Battlefield videos that I will be making in the future. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.